My research has focused on understanding the very basic molecular biology of the brain. For more than 30 years now, I have been studying the molecules inside synapses. The vast number of synapses in the brain, they all have different proteins in different synapses. There are many different disorders that arise from damage to synapses in the brain, and these occur in childhood and in young adults and in the elderly. In children, there are forms of intellectual disability, autism and motor disorders. In young adults, there's anxiety, depression and psychosis and schizophrenia. And in elderly people, there is neurodegenerative disorders. And in the last 10 years, we have been working on a new frontier, which is to identify the synapses in the brain and find where those proteins are distributed. The first is going to be better diagnosis of brain diseases. The second area will be new therapies for brain diseases that are targeted to particular synapses. And the third one will be able to monitor and image the brain in living individuals who are patients in a, in a clinical setting. The objective of our research is to see through the microscope at each one of these individual synapses. We want to see billions of them in the brain. And we need a specialized kind of microscope for that purpose, which was capable of visualizing individual synapses and the proteins in them. That's the first thing. And the second thing is that we needed it to be able to survey large areas of brain tissue so we could look across the whole brain. And for that purpose, uh, we found that the Nikon spinning disc microscope was the ideal instrument. I think in the future, I would like to understand which synapses are damaged in different diseases. And we would like to discover which of the synapses are important for each of those and to discover how they're damaged in disorders like Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative conditions.